kupitia macho ya ndani macho hii ya nje haiwezi kaona vision macho ya ndani inaonanga vision inaconnect na hii macho ya nje inapatia mind so unaweza kuwa na understanding lakini macho ya nje uh, haiwezi kaona direct ni macho ya ndani inaonanga vision and there's a difference between vision and dream dreams lazima ulale ndio wote but vision inakuja mara mbili inaweza unaweza lala ikakuja kwa ndoto ikakuja kwa usiku kama vile ndoto nakutaka na pia inaweza ikakuja kama hujafunga macho nani ambaye sasa vision kama hajafunga macho pia akaona imekuja kwa maisha yake a vision oh okay ni watu wachache leo tunaenda kuomba macho yake ndani ifunguliwe kwa experience vision vision is sweet praise the lord na vision inafanya hivi ni kitu unaweza ona within wakati hiyo picha imeondoka unaweza ona kama within 5 seconds lakini unakulia kwa kitu ambacho ukisema ni kujerezea unatakiwa kama 10 minutes lakini umeonesha umeonesha hiyo vision kwa dakika chache sana
Okay, you can tell me that you're not happy. So I appeal to Muliza, who are you? Wewe ni yule unajionaga mwambie wewe ni yule unajionaga kwa maono Kama unajionaga unapanda mlima ukifika pale chini unateremka unaanza tena wewe ni huyo maisha yako haiwezi kavuka kiwango fulani Wewe ufanye kazi 24 hours mwili utume application kwa Ruto usipo na issue ya kiroho kuna kiwango utakuja vita in life Maana kiwango hicho unajionanga hapo ndipo ability ambao uko naye ya kufika pale. Ana sipii we. Now, nataka tuende katika neno la Bwana. Kuangalie vile ambavyo maono ilivyo. Let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 15. Siku ni ubili message. Na wewe ni mshuhuda jana usiku nimekuwa nikiandika mtengeneza uh, sermon ya leo na nikaimaliza Asubuhi ndio Bwana alinipatia revelation about this. Kwa hivyo nikabidi nipatishe message niongee na Mungu atakaye nisemi. Amen. Genesis chapter 15 verse 1. After these things the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Saying, Do not be afraid Abraham. I am your shield you exceedingly great reward but abraham said the lord god what will you give me seeing i go childless and the hair of my my house is eliezer of damascus then abraham said look you have given me no offsprings indeed one born in my house is my hair and behold the word of the lord came to him saying this one shall not be your hair but the one who will come from your own body shall be your hair Then he brought him outside and said, "Look now towards heaven and count the stars if you are able to number them." And he said to him, "So shall your descendant be." Bible inaanza kusema kwamba Bwana akamtokezea in a vision. Kwa hivyo ni kusema Mungu ndiposa akuonesha who are you, anaanzaga na maono. Akamuonesha maono. Akamtokezea kwa maono. Akamwambia kwamba mimi ndio ngao yako and you are great reward. Lakini Abraham akaambia Mungu, "Unani promise haya kuna sina mtoto." Huyu muda Damascus ndio atanirithi. Bwana akamwambia, "Hapana, si yeye." But Mungu akaona, "As long as wako hii tent na yeye, wana negotiate hawatakubaliana." So Bwana akamwambia, "Toka nje." Hii ni vision, kwa hiyo hapo amelala. Akamwambia, "Toka nje." Ana bado anaona vision, anaambia, "Toka." Akatoka kwa hema, akaenda nje. Bwana akamwambia, "Angalia juu." akaangalia juu akamwambia una uwezo wa kuhesabu stars utaweza kujihesabu Abraham akajaribu akaona hawezi kujihesabu akaambia even ndivyo uzao wako utakavyokuwa physical eyes of Abraham inasema hana mtoto but spiritual eyes inaona mamilioni ya watoto wapenda kuanzia leo funguka waze kujiona spiritually Amen. Kwa sababu macho ya nje inaweza kukudanganya lakini ya ndani itakwambia ukweli. Macho ya nje nitakwambia ni maskini oe hai kwa sababu unakopa leo lakini macho ya ndani kile inaona inaona milionea. Haleluya. Amini macho ya ndani maana hiyo ndio ya kweli. So Abraham akaambia uzao wako utakuwa kama nyota utakuwa mwingi kama nyota za mbinguni. Abraham moyo wake ukafufuka na kutoka pale hakujirudia tena hakuuliza Mungu maswali kwa sababu generation yake ni kubwa Uliza jirani tena who are you Bwana sifiwe Muulize unajionanga aje kwa maono unajionanga ukiwa nini kwa maono Unajua mengi ile visima mnakuwa mnekunywa. Kuna watu mnakunyaga vitu nyingi sana. Mpaka ya maono yenu watu wengi maono yao yanajaa kufisho. Kuna watu ma program flani nyingi. Mpaka unajionanga wewe umekuwa Alejandro. Maana masopopra zimekujaa. Wengine kuna watu bol sana. 
Mbako eh? najona kwa hoteli na naruni muna kula sapa So zile mati muna kujwa sana Zinaweza sika confuse katika anga ya kiroho Ukoso kujelewa we ni nani Batu kiyaka kusoma neno la buwana Na kufocus na mungu utajijua Roa buwana na kufunua Ata fungua kitu fulani katika rumengu wa roo Na utajiona we ni nani Amen Mini ripo koka ni enda kufunuliwa kujiona kwa ndoto ni kitubiri sana Mbaka ni kufika kwa barabara na enda ni kitubiri Leo mimi kwa mubiri kwa sabi hii kitu ni likiona Wankati ya mbao ni kuwa mchanga wa kiroo So kile ambaye wewe uko Utakiona kwa maono Na ni kuambia hivi Hata kama unakiwango hau kufika kima masomu Wana akifufunulia kiwango chako ni chawaki wa masomu Mungu atajua njagani ya takitumia Utafika pale Halo Katika njia zake tu mungu Kaba mungu ya ipanda ndege Hato ujuna tukuli yao wapi Hato ujuna mwaka nyate na kuwa kare na mani na hapa chini As long as unachionaga kwa maono Utaenda tu Rena sifiwe Eko tuone mungu anasemaje kusu Vision kwa kanisa Joel chapter 2 verse 28 Nyele mungu anasemaje kuhusu Visions John I mean Joel sorry Chapter 2 Ni kitabu ambayo kinakaribia cha mwisho cha Old Testament Nakaribia na hapo na kina Zakaria Joel chapter 2 verse 28 Soma And shall come to pass after After one that I will pour out My spirit on all Flesh Your sons and daughters shall prophesy Your old men shall dream dreams Young men shall see Visions Wana sifia sana So ability ya kuona vision Ni roho wa Bwana huwa anamwapo juu ya watu. Anatupa uwezo wa kuona vitu katika wa roho. Anakusaidia kuona maono. Maono ni vitu ambavyo macho ya kawaida haijawezeshwa kuona. Macho ya kawaida imewezeshwa kuona vitu ambavyo viko mbele yake. But mtu ana ndani ndo anapewa uwezo na roho mtakatifu ya kuweza kuona visions ambazo Mungu anafunua. Kwa hivyo roho wa Bwana wakati alimwagwa in the day of Pentecost Haja irudi binguni mbaka siku ya leo Angali ako kwenye mission ya kufunulia watu maono Anasema wazee watota ndoto na vijana wataona maono Ok, kama umekana kijana watu mwambia the last vision na jona lini Halo Vijana wengi leo wanaotaka wa kinyonga nyongo usiku Sifiwe Unapata mziana, pia nuru usiku ni nini? Mutu kwa kina ninyonga. Ufa hivyo experience like this. Unafaa kuwana visions. Mana is a promise of God. Ya kama vijana, wataona vision. Wana yesu wa sifiwe. Mana hao kwa kuna kungufu za kufanya kazi ya mungu. Wana wesu wa kweza kuwena mbali sana. Kuku hao ndi umandiko nesama kwanza wanafaa kuwana maono. Bebewe kila kijana ambega katika nyumba la labwana na meokoka Vision tunafaa kuwa ni lifestyle yake kwa experience Kila siku unafaa kuwa nana vision Kwa sababu imelekezo pako Roa kwa na wakati alitumwa ali, ali ajaya watu Asaidia wazee waone, ndo, waone ndoto usiku Na vijana waone maono Kwa na sifia sana Numbers chapter 12 verse 5 
Numbers 12 verse 5 Bible in Asema Numbers chapter 12 verse 5 Then the Lord came down in a pillar of crowd and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam and they both went forward Then he said, hear my hear now my words If there is a prophet among you I the Lord make myself known to him in a vision Koko katikati ya manabi Mungu anasema anajifunuaga kwa maono. Kwa wakati Mungu ana raise prophets waongee kwa niaba yake, anasema anajifunuaga kwao through visions. Amen. Amen. And I speak to him in a dream. Na pia anaongea na wao pia kupitia kwa ndoto. Not so with my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. I speak with him face to face. Moses alikuwa na grace ya juu sana. Bwana akamwambia Haruna na Miriam ya kwamba kukiwa na bika katika tieni nitaongea naye kwa ndoto na maono. Lakini kwa Musa ndoongea naye face to face. Hiyo ni kiwango cha juu sana. Bwana asikie. Haleluya. Kwa hivyo each and every prophet, pastors, apostles, Mungu anapocommunicate na wao akiwaongelesha anasema anajifunuaga kupitia kwa visions. Kwa vision ni nafaa kuwa ni ya kawaida kwetu. Kama haujaifika kiwango cha kunenewa na Mungu through vision, unjue kazi ya kufanya. Ni kusema mtu wako wana ndani ayuko sensitive in the spirit. Na siku moja niliona maono nikajiona niko town. Ilikuwa ni maono ya usiku. Mimi Mungu amenipatia uwezo wa kujua napo hapa naweza kufundisha ndoto na vision wakati nimelala kuna vision na kujaga katika usiku ukiwa umelala na si dream that's a vision nikajiona nikiwa na Robbie Town ukawa kuna shuta nyingi sana ninapigwa mali sasi manyumba watu wanakimbizana magari zinagongana so mimi nikakimbia nikajificha chini ya, ya gari hapo nime naogopa kwa kukiwa na glasses za manyumba mtu mmoja alikuja na alificha uso wake siku muona Alafu alikuwa na mkono ulikuwa very soft na ngumeni hapo ulikuwa umejaa manyoya. Akanishika akaniambia nifuate. Usho leta games, play games za sana kwa TV. Ile mbio hawa jamaa wa games wanakimbiaga. Nilikimbizwa mbio kama hiyo. Katika kia magari pa 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 pa. Nilikuwa kumwangalia simuoni lakini amenishika na mbeni fuate. Akanipeleka mahali kama kuna kama uhurupa. Akaniacha hapo na akadisappear. Nikaangalia niko na uko na amani hakuna ubaya na siku muona ili kwa ni assurance kwamba hata kama nitakuwa na hatari in this Kenya the angels of the Lord are there to help me hiyo ni vision kwa hivyo vision ya kupatia pia assurance ya kujua kwamba you are not alone in this journey amen may the Lord give you ability to see things in the realm of the spirit amen ambe jirani isipokuwa ni ukawaida unakuwa nao mwingi wewe ungekuwa mbali kwa maono Haleluya Wengine ile maneno wanaongea tangu asubuhi mpaka jioni ikihesabiwa ni millions of words Mungu akiangalia anga yako ile maneno yameongea hata kuna mahali umemtaja Asaba huyu kabla nimkaribie tuko na kazi ya kufanya Sometimes di go time Ukiomba at goje Si kwamba kama umetoka just Bwana you can talk to me you can speak to me lord kwa concern ya kutaka kujua na atakaje na mshia God has ongea na wewe kupitia kwa neno unaweza lala ongea na wewe kwa kwa ndoto na pia anaweza vision ukiwa umeketi tu chini anza kuonesha mambo kwa hivyo give God kwa sikio sana. Hebu nikuulize kwa siku unapeleka Mungu muda unakaa aje kwa maisha yako. 
Wengine mnaopaka just only 5 minutes. Umesharuka kwa vyombo kuosha vyombo. Haleluya. Katika shedu yako ya kila siku. Kuanzia leo amua tu nitakuwa napatia Mungu my time. Wanawa ama for five minutes ama two hours. Ukisha muomba unangoja pia. Daudi anasema in the book of Psalms kwamba nilimngoja Bwana kwa siku bila. Unamngoja aongee na wewe. Hezi ongea na wewe kwa busy. Hezi ongea na wewe kwa Facebook na chat cha every time. Sometimes hiyo simu weka kando. Sikia anasemaje. Amen. Unajua tuko na shida? Kuna mtu anajua saa hii. Vile US na England inaendelea through internet. Ako na all information. Maseneta wote wa Nigeria anawajua. Anaingia kwa Al Jazeera News, BBC, You Sky News sote. Anapata time ya 3 hours kusikiza ma news sote. Lakini hata dakika 15 hezi mpatia roho ya Bwana asikia anasemaje. Maana roho ya Mungu anaongea kwa wapendwa. Hello, anaongea. Na anasema anaambia Aaron na Miriam, ninapojifunua kwa watumishi wangu na jifunua kupitia kwa maono. Na maono hauwezi ukayapata ukiwa busy. Amen. Find the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. Sita, I mean 3:16. The Bible says that he will grant you according 316 he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened to be strengthened with mighty through his spirit in the inner man one of the problems that we have according to this scripture we need to be strengthened in a mighty through his spirit in the inner man. Kwa hivyo mtu wetu wana ndani ndio aweze kupata uwezo wa kuona maono anahitaji kuwa strengthened. Roho wa Mungu a strengthen mtu wetu wana ndani aweze kuona vision. Kwa sababu mtu wana ndani akiwa weak hawezi ak experience the things of the spirit. Kuna watu wanasenga roho anashuka, wengine mnafungua macho muone kama mtamuona. Lakini mtu ambaye ako strengthened inside, ina maana wake mtu ana ndani. Because man is the spirit living in the body. So mtu huyo ambaye wako ambaye ni wana ndani, ambaye Mungu alimpulizia ndani yako. Akiwa strengthened na Holy Spirit, mtu huyo anaweza kuona maono na akasikia yule Mungu anavyosema katika ulimwengu wa roho. Zamani zile watu walikuwa wanafuta manabii hapa na pale wawaambie vile Mungu anavyosema. Lakini leo hii wakati roho wa Mungu alishuka juu ya kanisa, hategemei na bi peke yake, hata wakristo wengine anawafunulia na anaongea na wao. So kama uta experience the vision of heaven, you are in a man ako weak anakuwa wewe kwa nini kwa sababu haupati chakula ambaye anahitaji mtu wako ana ndani anakosa ability to see the things of the spirit kwa sababu apati chakula cha kutosha mtu wetu ambaye ako na njaa amechomeka na jua hata nguvu ya macho ikuwa ni mizuri haezi akaona mbali so mtu wako ana ndani akiwa na njaa anajaribu kuinua macho asikie vile Mungu anavyosema ama aone mapenzi ya Mungu katika ulimwengu wa roho hawezi maana ako na njaa Praise the Lord Unamaliza wiki mzima haujaomba 
unamaliza wiki mzima haujenda kanisani shetani na kisha ya jumapili amekupatia busy umekuwa busy unapata mtu ameweza 3 weeks akiako busy apatikana nafasi ya kwenda kanisani haujui kitu moja kuna vitu vingi sana unapoteza katika ulimwengu wa roho mtu wako ana ndani roho anakuja ampatie information kuna ataki na kuja kuna mashambulio ya kuvamia mzazi wako nyumbani lakini information ikikuja mtu wako ana ndani amepofuka haoni chochote akipewa message aelewi kwa sababu ako weak may the lord help us today in the name of jesus mtu wetu ana ndani awe na nguvu ya kuweza kuona the things of the spirit amen acha niambie hivi kuna watu hapa tu hapa katika nyumba hii leo roho wa bwana akiwatembelea kwa nyumba zao today utaona wakitoroka hawatajua kama ni yeye praise the lord bwana tu akutokezee kwa nyumba vizuri tu utapiga ndumu ukimbia but mtu ambaye ina man wake ako strong ame connect holy ghost akija atakuwa na conviction katika moyo wake this is spirit of god this is jesus ikikuja hata ikuletee vision mtu wake wana ndani atakatana na vision hiyo kwa sababu ako na nguvu watu wengi leo hii katika nyumba la nyumba la bwana katika kanisa la bwana Kenya wamedanganyika na manabii wa uongo wamedanganyika na watu wabaya kwa sababu watu wao wana ndani mtu wako wana ndani ako kiwi haoni hana nguvu hata bwana akituma signal mtu huyu ni fake hawezi ka connect because you are weak unaona born again christian anatanganywa na mhubiri fake anachukua ATM yake anapata mtu kwa njia amekudangata kukuombea utajirike unatoka naye hapo unaenda equity unamtolea pesa unampatia wakati ameenda unafunguka macho unajua umekoniwa because mtu wetu ana ndani kana nguvu ya ku receive signal from above. Amen. May the Lord help us. Hallelujah. Amen. Ambia jirani mwetaji nguvu za roho takatifu. Mtu wako ana ndani atiwe nguvu. Amulikiwe na nuru ya Kristo. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Let's go in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Verse 11 For I know the thoughts that I think towards you says the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you future and a hope so mungu anaposema ana mpango mwema na sisi na si mawazo mabaya kwa nao juu yetu ya kupatia kutupatia future and hope vision always mtu anapokuwa anaona maono vision haiongei about the past inaongea about the future kwa hivyo katika maisha yetu kama wateule the plan of god in his mind anakuwa na mpango mwema but hawezi ukajua unless you in the spirit ndivuli ufumulive future yako iwe na tumaini kwa sababu umeconnect na Mungu asema mwaso ninayowaazia yenye ni mema ni mazuri kuhusu kesho yenu ndipo sasa Mungu anacommunicate na sisi na vision ndio atoleshe kesho yetu iko sawa so lazima tuwe very sensitive ama tuwe tuko aware in the spirit ndio Mungu ana kuongea about the future tuweze tu tuko pale na kuelewa. Maana nasema Bwana akaongea na Yusuf, akamfunulia kwamba atakuja kuwa a great person. Yusuf sasa hivi analisha tu kondoo na mbuzi za baba yake. Akipelekea ndugu zake chakula wanapoendelea kulisha. Bible nasema kwamba baada ya miaka zingine zaidi ya kumi na saba hapo, Yusuf alifanyika prime minister wa Egypt. 
kwa sababu ya kile alichokiona 20 years ago utafanyika kile ambacho Mungu alisema kwa sababu alikuonesha many years ago so kile utakachokiona saa hii kitafanyika the days to come listen kuna vision unaweza kufunuliwa na Mungu today hata mapepo ya kifo ikutafuta haiwezi kakushika kwa sababu ile mama uko naye hata kifo inakuogopa praise the lord hebu niambie bwana akufunulie ukiombea watu wanapona uko na uko na huduma kubwa ulimwengu mzima hiyo ni juhudi yako maisha yako each and every time kifo itapanga nafasi gani kwa maisha yako inakuogopa maana ile vision uko nayo ni kubwa vision wapendwa ndio macho ya Mungu kwa kanisa. Mungu anafunulia watu wa, 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 walio katika roho ndio wapatie maono ya kanisa na wapatie maono ya kichwa zao. Maana ndio maana Mungu anasema ya kama mipango niliyo nayo juu yenu ni mema kuwapatia tumaini siku za usoni. Kwa hivyo Mungu anapoongelesha kanisa ni tumaini anatupeaga kwa sababu ya siku za usoni. Ya kama kesho yako itakuwa sawa watoto walio nao kesho yao itakuwa sawa mme wako kesho yake itakuwa sawa kazi yako kesho yako itakuwa sawa Mungu anakunenea about the those days ambazo mambo itakuwa mazuri hata kama saa hii mambo hayako sawa so inakusaidia kuvumilia inakusaidia kuchua ya kwamba hata kama mambo iko vile ilivyo kesho yangu itakuwa sawa wapendwa maono inakuwa mzuri sana inafanyaga unazijua na haungangani sana kwa sababu you have a direction from God na kile ambacho ulifunuliwa na Mungu utakuwa anza to practice mapema wacha kufanya kitu ambacho ujionaki kwa maono kama unajionaga ukiimba anza to practice hiyo sauti yako inaweza kaimba hata kama unajirekodi hivi unasikia ai ya 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 Amen. Kwa sababu ulichiona kwa maono ukiimba anza ku practice one day utaimba. Unajiona ukihubiri kwa maono, ukiombea watu wanapona kwa maono, anza ku exercise your faith right now. Ukisikia mtoto wa jirani ni mgonjwa endo muombe, anza ku practice maana hivyo ndivyo utakavyokuwa in future. Kama unajiona wewe ni mwanabiashara mkubwa kwa maono yako ingiza ya hata kujihusisha na mambo yanayohusiana na biashara because that is your area bwana sifiwe ukianza kufuata vile watu wengine wanafanya na hiyo si maono yako unakuwa confused hata kiangalia wale fulani anafanya vizuri hiyo ndio area yake that's why anafanya vizuri wewe area yako invest nayo you will do good mimi wakati nilikuwa na grow nikiwa nilikuwa na evangelist ningeona bonke anahubiri inaanza kuhubiri kama bonke hata kuna siku niligruma kama yeye nikiwa nimealikwa mahali mke wa mchungaji akanambia na unaguruma unatoa freno sasa nataka kuwa kama bonke nikola benin tena nikatulia kidogo nikaanza kusema hiyo ni ujana because nilikuwa najitafuta bwana sifiwe wakati nilijijua area yangu ni gani niliacha tabia ya kufuata watumishi wale nikatamani kuwa original me haleluya kwa sababu ukishajijua you follow your calling usiwe na watu kumi ndani yako mara leo umekuwa TDJX kesho unasema yeah unaanza kwa kama join hosting god bless you na jana ulikuwa unaguruma kama TDJ. Sasa ukiwa hivyo utachanganyikiwa. Ambe jirani wachana na watu wa Mungu. Wewe kuwa wewe. Kwa sababu ukifollow watu utaki okay, ni vizuri kuwasikiza hata mimi nawasikizaga. Lakini waza kufanya kama wao. Kwa sababu ile gharama walilipa ndipo sasa wale hivyo walivyo. Wewe utailipia. Sasa ukaenda kuguruma kama TDJ ukutwa na pepo ambazo zinapigana na TDJX utatokoa sasa ndio ndio gani ku kujeketea bita wezi kwa wewe hata kama kama sasa unaubiri sasa eh 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 mama mama 
na matayo kwa hivyo pole pole. Mungu atakuinua step by step. Nilikuwa naishi na msichana mwingine kwa nyumba nilikuwa na mtrain kazi ya Bwana. Hiyo dada tumekaa hivi tu Sunday tumetoka church. Tunafungulia channel hii kwa TV, anaona DJ anasema now this is my father. I want to become like this man. Okay. Siku mwangeleesha mara ya kwanza. Baadaye akatoka Jolosi akakuja akasema hasa huyu ndio baba yangu original sasa. Sasa hii ni kuchanganyikiwa kwa haja. Na sasa nikajaribu na mimi niko wapi sasa na mimi ndo ninalea hiyo kiroho. Kwa mimi ni yako. Ni shida kubwa. Kwa watu wamekataa kuwa original wao, wafuate their calling. Amen. And ego. Ego. Niko nafanya statistics about ego nikaona vile ego inaenda juu sana ndio inakuwa na ability ya kuona chini vizuri so vile tutapanda ndani sana in the realm of the spirit ndio mtu wetu ana ndani atapunguliwa macho zaidi tuone vizuri mtu ambaye ni mwombaji mtu ambaye anataka Mungu kwa moyo wake wote ana create time with God huyo mtu level yake spiritually inakuwa very deep hawezi kumdangani hawezi akafundiki akafundishwa mafundisho mabaya hawezi akaingizwa aka, aka katika doctrine ya upepo kwa sababu spirit yake inaona iko strong na iko sawa haleluya let's go to the book of proverbs 20 29 verse 18 29:18 Where there is no revelation people cast off restraint but happy is who who keeps the law Another version of the manga ya kwamba without a vision people perish kwa hivyo maono ndio inagaidiki watu. Inapatia watu instruction. Ina kama ina, ina, inapatia kwa watu uelekezi. Wanapata ile njia wanafaa kupita. Kwa mfano, unataka kwenda Langata, usipojua barabara ya kwenda Langata unaweza zunguka sana. Lakini yule anajua njia ya Langata astragoi. Kwa hivyo ndiposa watu wasiangamie lazima awe na maono ndio huduma iende mbali lazima iwe na vision ndio marejeo yako hiyo iwe na iwe na purpose isimame lazima uwe na maono hiyo marejeo yako msishi tu ndio kupoteza time katika marriage don't come to church every sunday tu unaonekana ukija kwa ibada kuwa na vision unataka kufanya nini katika nyumba la Bwana nimeingia kwa hii marriage purpose yangu kubwa ni gani kwa hii marriage nimeajiriwa kwa hii kazi na kwa nya nini kwa hii kazi have a vision Mungu anasemaje about your life Bwana asifiwe Ndio nasomesha watoto ungetaka wawe nini in future lazima uwe na vision Usiingiwe na, na, na mawaso kama watu ulimwengu wewe kuna na vision ulize Mungu hawa watoto unataka aje na wao Ndio unapowalea ndio mali ambayo wanaelekea kwa sababu without vision watu wanaangamiana Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa lazima tuwe na vision in this life ukikosa vision utafanya kazi ambayo si yako ukikosa vision utatumiwa na watu haya ukikosa vision ina robi utahangaika basi mtu ambaye hapo na vision anajua kule anaelekea na huwezi ukamtishi. Kwa mfano kama anaenda na ndoo na napita njia, nikutana mtu ananiambia njia na ndoo si hiyo lazima nirudi mpaka kaona na mwambie we mimi najua kule nina eh. But kama sijui atanirudisha mpaka kaona anipeleke town anizungushe. Kwa hivyo mtu aliyo na maono anajua kule anaenda na huwezi ukamchanganya. Haleluya. So we need visions. Acts chapter 18 verse 9.
Acts 18 verse 9. Now the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by a vision. Do not be afraid, but speak and not keep silent. In the area where Paul had come and had to be, the Lord had come to care for my mom. Now come and be a good man. Now the Lord spoke in the night by a vision. Do not be afraid, but speak and not keep silent. In the area where Paul had come and had to be, the Lord had come to care for my mom. Now come and be a good man. In the area where Paul had come and had to be, do not be afraid, but speak and not keep silent. Ten. For I am with you, and no one will attack you to hurt you. For I have many people in this city. Ebu nani ni 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 ongeza ebu mbaka tisa kuna kuto taka ku 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 ongeza yako. Waka tu mungu alionge na Paul kwa kitu kwa nani mambi ya don't be afraid. So vision ina kuwa na assurance ina kuoneshaga kila mbato ufai kufanya. So anambi usiokope, endelea kuongea na usinamaze. So hili kutuambia kwamba, those who are serving the Lord in any department, wakati mongu ame kukonfamia in a vision, anakuambia ka go and do this and that, don't be afraid. Hakuna mtu kukuza, hakuna mtu atapiga na wewe, ni kukona watu wengi hapa wanafaa kusikiza. Vision inakupatia confidence ina kuwa sure ya kwamba anything that you are going to do you will prevail that's the power of vision yani nakupatia hata kama ina kuna tumo mali na Mungu hata kama kuna hatari nyingi hata kama watu wengi wa ufaulu hata kama watu wengi waligonga ukuta wakati Mungu amekutuma na vision inakupeleka assurance and confidence ya kwamba kuna chochote kibaya kitakacho kuvuru Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, we need vision our brother and sister. Na Bwana akipokuwa mali na maono, kila amekuambia itafanyika. Bali leo Bwana akikutuma Garisa, akwambie nataka ukafungue kanisa Garisa. Usimwambie ni Garisa Bwana ni jangwani. Atakutuma pale na atakusustain pale. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana akikwambia endo wanise biashara mahali, hata kama wengine wanaanzanga na zinagonga ukuta bwana akikutuma utafanikiwa pale siku moja nikaona kisikia mbili moja wa Nigeria anasema ati area ambayo alikuwa na huduma Mungu amemtuma kulikuwa na, na uchawi mwingi sana alafu umaskini ulikuwa wa juu na Mungu ndiye amemtuma pale bwana akamwambia funga siku saba aka fast na lipo fast siku ya saba bwana akamwambia akamwamsha saa za usiku akamwambia si unaona kale kamuto kanakuwa mali fulani ye enda uongeleza kamuto ndio kamebeba tajiri wote wa this city na kwa na baiskili na ni usiku na kale kamuto mali kako unaweza wawa na katupwa pala kale kamuto basi kwa sababu Mungu aliongea na vision akamwambia go aliamka saa tisa akachukua baiskili yake na akaenda mpaka hapo na amefunga wakati alinyosha mkono wake pale akasema kila roho ambao imebeba utajiri wa hii city nimetumwa kama nabii wa Mungu ondoka sasa na uende anasema ile maji ilijifoka kama mlima rikasimama sauti katoka kwa maji ikamuuliza unatakani na sisi this is our city leave us alone akawaambia temeni imespire is your time to go akairibuk ikatawanyika pale kama liquid na kutoka hapo hiyo city ika change kwa sababu kuna mtu alikuwa na maono wapendwa hatutabadilisha area fulani because we are good christians hatutaleta different in our generation because we know how to read the scripture tutafanya mambo makubwa according to the vision that we see or we saw at the night bwana yesu asifiwe kila uliona jana kitabadilisha kesho yako kila uliona lasia kitabadilisha your future praise the lord mbili moja pia kama anasema alikuwa anaenda amealikwa katika the flani aende ahubiri kusei akiwa kwa njia akaosabiri maone anafanyaka bwana akampokezea akamwambia angalie ile mti 
akaiona akamwambia ile muti nimeshika utajiri wote wa Nigeria kuna wazee walifanya kama mabao hapa wakafunga hii city ndio hakuna nyumba ya mawe hata moja ya gorofa katika city hii nyumba zote ni za mbao na hakuna tabia kama ni ya mawe haina gorofa zote ni, ni tudogo tudogo na ni town kubwa alipofika kwa mchungaji alikuwa amemwalika alimwambia bwana amenituma nikaongelesha mtu fulani hiyo pastor alisikuka akamwambia tafadhali nimekuita uhubiri kurusei sitaki ukufe akamwambia mtu mimi hiyo muti imeua watu wengi sana na sio mpaka serikali ukienda hapo imeweka fence na kuna chifu anasimamia huko mtu mkubwa sana mti wote asikaribie mti inalindwa akasema maana ni bwana amenitokezea au will go basi akamwambia mimi sikupeleki ndio akufe peke yake aya umtu kaje mgeni akauliza vijana intercessor mtanipeleka naye anasema kunipeleka dada moja na kijana kwambie tutakuwa tutakuwa company let's go walipofika pale walipata imezingirwa na imefungwa na kufuli iko na gate akatumana yule chief aliambia anasimamia hiyo area mtu mkubwa sana akamwambia ya man akatumetupo fanya nini hapa Hawa <laughs> kuna kupuuzana sana. Akamwambia Mungu amenituma niongee na hii mti. Akamwambia mti imeua watu wengi ya 100. Haika Allah allow to die here and you are a very young man. Akamwambia pana mimi nilijuaje kwamba hii mti kuna power ni Mungu ameniongelesha. Akamwambia okay. Huyo mtaji wa Olcha. Yo chief. Akamwambia if God wako amekutuma kwanza aniponye ndio niamini kwamba atadina hii mti. Basi anasema alisikia anointing imeshuka. Akamshika mkono akamwambia inuka in the name of Jesus. Akainuka, aliburudishia fungua fungua. Wakafungua gate. Aliongelesha hiyo muti. Akaiambia from today kazi yako imekwisha ya kutesa wakaaji. Utajiri manyumba na fedha na gold za mji huu ambazo zimezikwa kwa mti akatemeyo pepo na akatoka after 3 days hiyo muti ilikatika kutoka chini na ikaanguka alikuwa anasema baada ya miaka tatu kutembea huko tena alipata manyumba za mawe zimejengwa upendwa vision yako itabadilisha mambo kuna watu mnaanzia sasa kama haya hii inawezekana kwa sababu vision yako ni kadogo kanasema hivi lakini wakati utakuwa na maono makubwa vitu vya Mungu vikubwa utakubaliana navyo kwa sababu upana wa maono yako ni kubwa pia Haleluya. Kuna vitu nazaambia watu fulani wakose kuelewa, lakini siku atakoma koma katika mambo ya kiroho. Bwana apanue realm yao, spirit yao ya ndani iwe na upanuzi mkubwa. Wataelewa mambo yao na ambayo tunayaongea. Can somebody say amen. So wapendwa wa vision ya muhimu sana. Hebu tuende hapa kuku chapter 2 verse 2. Tuone vision tunafaa kuwaka tuko na vision, tunafaa kufanya nini? Hapa kuku 2 verse 2. Bwana anaongea na nabii Habakuk. Anamwambia maneno ya ya ngumu sana pale. Habakuk 2 verse 2. Then the Lord answered me and said, write the vision, make it plain on tablet then may run who reads it for the vision is yet for an appointed time andika maono yako kwa namba kubwa andika wakibao kikubwa ndio watu waweza kusoma na kuelewa vision si ya kuficha wapendwa vision unaiweka wazi ni kusema kwamba kile ambacho Bwana amekufunulia unakiweka wazi hakifichi mbele za Bwana Kuna mtu anaweza share na hii vision yako uone kama mtu huyo alikuwa desi reconnector akusaidie ku achieve your goal Okay si mtu anaambiangwa our visions but wale ambao wamejaliwa kuona maono Hapa kuwa kaambiwa haya maneno kwa sababu ni ya siku ambao anapiza appointed time ni ya siku fulani iandike Kuna vision ambayo inafunuliwa concerning the church concerning the people of God hiyo vision si ya kuficha unajiandika na unasema vile Mungu anavyosema 
kusema si zote za kusemwa lakini hii ya pe bwana ameiweka kwa siku fulani kwa kwa season fulani hiyo inaruhusiwa kutangazwa bwana yesu asifiwe akapiga ndiki hapa kuka ili kila mtu apitae aisome kwa sababu ilikuwa Mungu ameiweka ya Israeli kwa sababu ya siku fulani bwana yesu asifiwe in my conclusion i want to read second corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 namalizia na hapo Second Corinthians chapter 12 Yes, Second Corinthians chapter 12 one it is doubtless not profitable for me to boost i will come to vision i will come to, to vision and revelation of the lord i know a man in christ for uh, a man in christ who 14 years ago whether in the body i did not know or whether out of the body i did not know god knows such one such a one was caught up to that heaven hapo paul anaongea kwa niaba yake anasema ninaweza nikaringa basi vizuri kulinga lakini kulingana na maono niliyeona anasikia kulinga kwa sababu alifunuliwa akaenda mpaka mbingu ya tatu anasema sitaki kulinga lakini nataka kulinga pia si vizuri kulinga bado anajivunie kulingana na maono ambe Kristo alinifunulia. Anasema 14 day, 14 years ago kuna mtu mmoja ninajua in Christ. Alichukuliwa hadi that heaven. Leo hii Paulo ndiye ameandika vitabu nyingi kwa sababu maono yake pia ilikuwa kubwa. Alichukuliwa heaven na anasema mtu huyo yale mambo alionyeshwa hata ni vigumu mtu akawaida kuandaa kwa kuelewa na kufahamu because ilikuwa ni mambo very deep kwa sababu ya vile alivyofunuliwa mambo makubwa na manene anasema i can boost naweza nikaringa bwana yesu asifiwe sana wapenda niwaambie kuna kiwango unaweza kufikishana na mungu hata usikie kulinga kidogo viwango wapenda niwaambie kitu moja tu tena katika ulimwengu wa roho kuna maviwango watu wanaingia kwani mambo kuchini anything kwa mind yao but watu wanaoelewa the secret of the things of heaven kuna viwango watu wanaingia kwa mtu akirudi duniani si mtu wa kawaida tena paulo alipelekwa kwa heaven anasema 14 years ago kuna mtu anajua the spirit alipelekwa mpaka mbingu ya tatu yale mambo yalifunuliwa mwanadamu hawezi akaweza kuyaelewa ndani yeye anaongea vision zinakuwa na mambo hello yes so kama sio kuwa na vision kadogo tafadhali tamani sana kwenda deeper ufunuliwe mambo ambao ni zaidi kuna kiwango unezaingia in the spirit ukutana watu kwa barabara wanatoroka kwa sababu wanadhani utawaona hata huko naombea watu waingie in the realm of the spirit vizuri. Hello. Kama jana ulichapa mama kofi kuna kuonea pale. Ndio wewe mzee ulifika bibi ndio utubu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kama jana ulijificha ukafanya kitu fulani ukajipanguza mdomo kuna kuonea pale ukiingia. Ni viwa. Bwana asifiwe sana. By the way, si lazima uwe na bibi poto kulio mambo mengine. Ah ah ni queen the spirit. Roho Bwana hakuna kitu hawezi kufunulia ukiwa sawa in the realm of the spirit. Kuna wakati unaezaomba vizuri vizuri mbele za Bwana. Uanze kuona mpaka vitu vya dunia unaanza kuzihit. Mimi kuna siku nilikuwa nimefunga nimeomba kabisa masaa mengi. 
Nikasema nikasema kama nitaanguka nikasema nenda nenda mahali kwa hoteli ni kunywe chai. Nilipoitisha chai hivi watu kwa ni mpira ilikuwa inaendelea kwa hiyo hoteli. Watu wanashangilia ati timu fulani imefungana. Mimi nasoma gazeti nikikoja chai machozi kaza kutoka. Nikasikia toka hapa ufai kuwa hapa uende kaombe. Yaani kuna kiwango unafikaga mpaka unasikia kwa bwana anaanza kukuonya kwa makampa kuwa na kampani zingine anakuondoa hapo. Si kwa sababu ni dhambi wanafanya but roho bwana asikii kwa comfortable ukiwa pale. Yaani kwa kuja church kuna vision alinifunulia about my life. Ilikuwa very sweet. Ndio ni yangu sitawaambia bwana sio sana. So kuna mtu Mungu anafanyanga when you are deep in the spirit. Wapendo ni ombi langu church ito kiwango cha chini yende kiwango kingine tuanze kufunuliwa mambo yaliye katika ulimwengu wa kiroho yale mambo Yohana alixperia in the book of revelation Daniel the same akina hapa huko na wengine tunaweza to experience those visions kama tutakubali kujipeana kwa Bwana vizuri in the name of the lord Paul anaaminiwa na Mungu kutengeneza doctrine ya kanisa kwa sababu ya uwezo aliyokuwa amepewa na Mungu ya kuona maono na we Mungu atakuaminia mambo makubwa kwa sababu ya uwezo atakupatia ya kuona maono maana kile utaona hivyo ndivyo utakuja kufanya in future. Bwana asifiwe sana. Shika jeni mkono muulize leo hii mwambie leo hii na kuombea. Bwana akufungue. Akupe uwezo wa kuona maono. Na maono haya akupe uwezo yaweze kutimia. In Jesus name. Amen. Are you blessed? Yes. Now, kuna watu ambao walipata maono, walipokoka, na wengine wakakuwa wamepata hizo majuzi. Sitaulize na kinene wako na maono maana ndio Mungu ameongelesha watu wengi. Na maono. We are going to pray for our visions. Na kama kila Mungu amesema juu yetu, kitimie kwa jina la Yesu. Bwana akilinde. wakati Mary alipata maono ya kwamba alifunuliwa na malaika ya kwamba atampata Yesu Mungu alilinda Mary mpaka wakati Yesu alizaliwa wakati Manoa alipewa instruction maana Mungu amepanga wazae Samson Bwana aliwalinda Mungu analindanga mwenye kubeba maono kama unataka kulindwa na heaven utalindwa kwa sababu investment ambayo Mungu amefanya na wewe you have something in you amen kile unaka kwa serikali inalindanga wafanyakazi wake ni kwa sababu wamebeba mali ya serikali minister ako na bendera ya serikali lazima alindwe judge lazima alindwe rais lazima alindwe kwa sababu investment ambayo government imefanya na yeye huyo ni mtu wa maana kwa machoni pa serikali ndipo sasa analindwa na mimi na wewe pia kwa sababu investment ambayo roho bwana amefanya juu yetu yale maono ametufunulia vile tutakuja kuwa lazima akulinde na lazima anilinde amen thank you lord this morning baba tunaomba na wale wote ambao mtazama kupitia kwa social media kawabariki na kawatendea mema do something for them lord maono yao ikaweza kutimia ukapanua mtu wao wana ndani akawa na ufahamu wa kuelewa maono yako bwana na